Yo people, what's up? Shadow here and welcome back to Fallout 4 VR! So, actually, before we start going into the whole thing, uh, let me just have... I have something to say, like a, a little rant, if you will. Uh, basically, today and yesterday there was a lot of talk about on my Twitter timeline as well as everywhere else, actually. Um, the new update to the YouTube's monetization policy, or the, uh, the YouTube partner program. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people are angry, some, are, some don't care, and I just want to tell you where I stand on the whole issue. Um, basically, of course, this, um, this channel is going to be affected, obviously. Um... Because I do not have 1,000 subscribers and I, I never get like 400, what is it, 4,000 video minutes per month? Or last, in the last 12 months? Yeah, you know, that's, it's probably never gonna happen. And to be frank, I don't really care. For me, this is a hobby, this is a passion. And, you know, I know I monetized my videos with the... The thought that it would be like a, a long-term goal, you know, to work forwards, because you can get money from AdSense when you reach a certain threshold. So, you know, that was my idea to, like, in a few years be like, hey, look, that's my first YouTube money. I'm gonna buy more games and play some more stuff on my channel. So, yeah, but that's not going to happen anymore. And, you know, as I said, I don't really care. I do this because I have fun with this. I don't care if there's only two people watching this. I really don't. So, yeah. But I can understand people who are angry. I mean, there's a lot of channels that might really um, depend on on this. I don't. I, I work a day job. I work five days a week. You know, my normal job. And, yeah, that's why I don't really depend on this. But I, I, I guess there is channels who will be in trouble now especially like channels who I guess um, upload like smaller videos like really really short ones they will probably not get to these 4,000 hours perhaps I think you know the only thing that I can say is really um, I think the timing on that announcement was really bad I mean like terrible because the whole uh, Logan Paul situation, you know? They're like, oh yeah, we... Oh, hello. We need to punish uh, Logan Paul. We're totally gonna do something about that, guys. And uh, <laughs> a few, like a week later, or a few days later, they're like, yeah, we're also gonna like punish the smaller channels. <laughs> well, it's not a punishment, you know? But I, you know what I mean? If I was in PR for Google or for YouTube, I would have told these guys, you are silly. You're... you're Really, idiots. That is a terrible, terrible timing for that announcement. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. That's my little rant. So we're gonna... I'm, I'm actually not quite sure what we're doing today. I guess we're going towards the... Um, the satellite station. Oh, there's raiders back there. I actually wanted to check something real... Are they attacking me? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Oh, that's an attack dog. Hello. Because I have... S Whoa! That was one Molotov and I'm dead. I didn't even side coming. <laughs> Great! Yeah, that's joy of survival mode for you. But yeah, I technically know that there are raiders up there, so... I shouldn't have walked into that like, like so. What I wanted to check, I saw I had some kind of condition. I wonder what that was. Do I already have it right now? No, so I guess these mole rats might have given me some some infectious disease. So it's actually good that I didn't, that I die. Hello, power armor. So, yeah, I guess we're going to try to go towards that station. And also Ten Pine Bluffs. I mean, these are two things we, we are... We can do. I don't want to do the satellite station now because that chick with the minigun, I think it's Ok Ok is her name. I don't think I can beat her at this point. I mean, if a, a Molotov kills me, imagine what a minigun will do. I mean, a minigun doesn't do much damage, but it 
per shot, but it, it has a lot of shots per second. So, there we go. So we need to be a bit more careful. Or at least we try to. I am not, I'm, I'm so careless sometimes. I really am. <laughs> the thing is, uh, I really feel I might want to install mods, even in VR. Although, the mods that I have installed in my normal Fallout, they're a bit weird. I'm not quite sure if you... Um, if they would work so well in VR. Boom! Um, basically, what I installed on, um, on my normal game is the... Uh, Alternative life or alternative start mod, which basically lets you pick like a new starting location and um, It also starts you off with With some Get it dog meat um, with some perks For example, you can start out as uh, One of the forged raiders and then you get a perk that gives you more damage with flamers So it's kind of a role-playing plugin or, or uh, add-on so to speak a uh, role-playing mod and also I installed conquest which allows you to build up camps slash uh, workshops everywhere Which I really love I, I love that I really do because then you can set up like in the middle of nowhere Where am I getting detected from? Oh well, and you basically can you know, make everything into a settlement, and I really enjoy that. Maybe I will show you one day my settlement that I created. It's quite fun. I don't even see the raider from here. <coughs> you know what is very hard, actually? is keeping a, an eye on your health. Boom! There's the last one. There's one more. I noticed. There he is! Get him, dog meat! So wait, is this also like in the normal vats? Is it... Oh, it's chance-based. I didn't even notice that the few first few times around. Oh well, we got the raider camp. Very nice. Molotov cocktail. Sweet. Another pipe pistol. You know, at the beginning, I really tend to take almost everything with me. Although that's a terrible strategy in in survival mode, really. No ramen meat. Alright. But there's some meat. Also some rounds. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't look like I need... I, I've infected myself, which is nice. So let's eat something. Where's my inventory? There we go. Uh, what should we eat? We have a death claw steak. Yummy. Let's drink a Nuka Cola. Yum yum. Some sugar bombs. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm still thirsty. So, some purified water will do. No. Properly hydrated. There we go. So, now we can actually save here, which is quite nice. And also, I try to to sleep for the for longer times because I think if you sleep very shortly in um, in survival mode you get this this weird disease the um, I'm not quite sure what it whoa what is going on oh there we go um, not quite sure what it's called um, insomnia maybe you'll basically get like a sleeping disorder if you just like sleep very shortly, like one hour just to save. Which I find quite annoying because sometimes you just want to go to the bed and save. You know what I mean? So, yeah. You know, most of the time you should sleep more than, than a few hours just to avoid that. So there should be like a camp up here somewhere and potentially a raider. 
I'm not quite sure where it was though. Oh no, it was up here. And it doesn't look like the raider is here as well. No. Okay. Little cozy camp. Technically we could sleep here as well. Oh, okay, the raider is here apparently. Dog meat? Damn it. Boom! Headshot, bitch! <laughs> Alright. And there's also this, this thingy over here. The, uh, what is it? Like a junkyard with a, a big assault uh, robot. The first time I walked into here, I thought this thing wanna, was going to attack me. <laughs> also, there's like some flame fuel. Military circuit board. There's some very like high-tech components here, which is nice if you uh, want to create like uh, You know these uh, more expensive settlement uh, defenses like turrets and stuff Wonder glue yes And there's of course the hot rodder Whew. Cigarette box Also, there's like a, a tape you can get from this thingy. Uh, how do you do that? Eject holotape. Sentry prototype holotape. Right, let me go to the workbench real quick because we'll um, just scrap some things. Do we want a machete? Actually, I think we do want a machete for like melee combat. Pipe pistol, not really. Double-barreled shotgun. I think we have a... Yeah, we have a better one. And this is our super cool pipe rifle. Alright. Good. So the question is, how far should we go? Because... Um, the satellite station is there. Right there. And there's also power armor. Somewhere over here. There's like a crashed vertibird. Yeah, over there. There's power armor. So we can technically take that, you know, get it back to base. The thing is, really in, in uh, Fallout, I dislike power armor for some reason. I'm not a fan of power armor. I'm not quite sure why. Come on, enter. There we go. Do we even have a core? I'm not quite sure. Uh, there we go. I think we have one core, like, right into this thing. Alright. There's also a little explosive crate. You know what? We'll, um, try to deal with the exterior guards. There's, like, one or two exterior guards and I think an attack dog. Oh, blowflies. Fuck you. I hate you. Boom! It's like a few guards. And an attack dog. Let me get my shotgun, actually. Ooh! That was close. Hello! Bam! I feel so safe with power armor. You know what the thing is? Actually, in... in um. In survival mode, I think power armor bec could become my new friend. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo! Gotcha! Where are you? Stupid mole rat. Oh, oh, no, 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 no! That's that. Oh, that was close. There's like one mole rat sometimes here that has explosives strapped to it. So yeah, not a big fan of that. <laughs> you can imagine. Oh damn, are you okay, little dog meat? Good. Nice, we cleared the external guards, which is very cool. So we can technically, you know, we might, we might try it at one point. 
But I think I, I at least want like one more level before we go for that. Oh yeah. It was very nice that we could clear that without incident. <laughs> because when I heard that beeping of that stupid mole rat, I was like f afraid for real. Because in survival, any explosive is so deadly to you. Mines, molotovs, grenades, it's like so devastating. Can be over in like a second and you don't even realize it. Can I sleep? Oh, I cannot sleep in power armor, can I? Uh, how do I even exit power armor? Oh, there we go. So let us just sleep here for... Uh, we can only sleep five hours anyway because of the mattress. But at least so we can create a safe state, which is kind of nice. I want to enter. Enter. There we go. Okie dokie. Uh, let me just check real quick if there's anything more here. Paintbrush. No, why not? Some materials. What's my status? Everything is alright actually right now. Very good. Let's return to base. And go! Whee! <laughs> You know, I really enjoy the experience of walking through this world. That alone feels amazing to me. I think I said it a couple of times, but... That's the most amazing thing in VR, in my opinion. Just be able to, like, experience the world from... From this angle, from this perspective. Because even if you're playing in first person... Because I, I always play in first person when I play Fallout 4. And Skyrim, and all these games. So... Technically, this is not a new perspective for me, but just, you know, the motion of actually looking around like that and aiming and stuff, that is so fun. Whoa! You scared me, little sucker! It's like a game of whack-a-mole, but with a shotgun. Which is a lot more fun, I have to admit. <laughs> Right away! Very nice. We need right away. Speaking of right away, I think glowing fungus is a very um, important ingredient for right away, I think? I might be wrong, but I think it's, it's used for right away. Let me just check something. Ah, the raider encampment. I just wondered where we were. Oh, I, I forgot something so important. Jeez, how could I do that? Uh, let me just... Yeah, we have still a lot of space in our inventory. Because I totally forgot to loot this thing here. Because there's a, a 44 revolver. To be fair, I don't have too many shots right now. But, you know, it's always good to have an alternative caliber. And of course, there's this pump down here, which you can turn off. Hey. No, not you, don't me. Whoa, whoa, wait, why do I have now this... Ah, oh, th that's because of the dog. I just wanted to say, why do I have a laser now? <laughs> that was actually very interesting if I could keep that, because that is very good for aiming. <laughs> And uh, now you can open up this. Four bottle caps. There we go. Sweet. Let's go. And then I want to build like a, a defense turret in Sanctuary if we can. Ha! Finally got you. Can make a, a rat steak or whatever it's called. A rat stack steak. I'm always afraid if I hear that sound because it could be a rat scorpion. <laughs> well, not that far up, actually. Like, right here, it, the chance that a rat scorpion spawns here is, I think, very small. But still, the moment if you think, Oh, it's just a mole rat, and then this huge fucking scorpion pops out of the ground in front of you. That is scary. 
There we go. We made it back. Whee! Very nice indeed. Let's let's try to build a turret. Um, it was this. Yes. And teleporting with that. Very good. Uh, now I, I, I slowly but surely I get the hang of all this thing. Yeah, we can build a turret. Even a turret level 2 or a, a... Yeah, you know what I mean? This one. A Mark II. Sweet! Nice, we have a turret. We cannot build any more because we're lacking one oil? Well, that's actually... We could get that quite quickly. Let me scrap that. Getting some wood. <laughs> oh, no. Don't shoot Sturgis. Sturgis hasn't done anything wrong. Alright. Oh, we cannot use it if we were in power armor. I forgot. Ah. There we go. Now we have two sets of power armor. Sweet. Okie doke. Let me just uh, get rid of some things. Store all junk. Oh god, look at this. <laughs> 110 is our, our weight with all the stuff we have with us right now. We need to get rid of some things. Um, transfer. Wait, what? Oh, come on. The game just crashed. No, that's fucked up. Oh, I didn't even save. Well, probably. Oh, come on. That is so lame. I hate it. That's one of the, the things I hate the most. When the game crashes and basically it kills your save. You know? It makes you do something over again. That's what I hate the most. I can deal with like little bugs and stuff most of the time. Well, there's some annoying stuff I will admit, but ah, oh, this is this is fucked up. Come on. All right, I can, you know what? I'm gonna swim through the f or run through the fucking lake. I should be able to do that, right? I'm not quite sure if I will drown if I do, but ah, we'll see. Oh, come on. I mean, that was that is something I actually heard a lot from people, but I never experienced it myself, these crashes. So, yeah, that's a first one for me. Not a very nice first experience, but okay. So, yeah, let's go very much uh, straight towards our base. Just want to get there. Ooh, Brahminite. Getting there and safe. You know, the thing is, even we have traveled far and we killed some enemies, we actually haven't done that much today. <laughs> so far, at least. Oh yeah, that's the thing in survival mode. You have to take small steps. If you do these, these grand, like, exploration tours you would normally do, you probably will end up getting killed. And you will hate yourself. But yeah, there we go. I will collect that stuff again up there, obviously, because I want that. I want the revolver. I want the um, the money, obviously, because money is important. It buys us shit. Up, up. Ah, it's so annoying doing things over and over again. There we go. So the first thing... First thing we do when we come into the settlement is safe and... Um, and uh, get out of power armor and safe. That's basically what we're gonna do when we're in the settlement. Nothing else. 
Although I'm not quite sure what I did to make it crash. What did I do? I, I tried to store something? I ran, the last thing I remember is I ran into the the house and I wanted to store something in the in the closet. Maybe that caused it? I don't know. Oh man. Almost there. Again. Oh yeah, we need to build a turret again, obviously, because that didn't save as well. What the hell are you? The road is up here, dummy. Okay, if you want to get irradi irradiated, you know, be my guest. I don't care. But yeah, NPCs seem to have tr sometimes trouble with bridges. It seems. Uh, wait. Ah, there we go. The fence? Ah, no. I said defense. Come on. Yes. There we go. I'm not quite sure. I don't think the enemies normally attack from there. I'm pretty sure, like, enemies attack from, like, this side and this side. <laughs> But yeah, defense is defense, and I like to put my defenses in places where it would make sense to put them, I guess. You know what I mean? Because I, I, when I play Fallout 4, I most of the time I do a lot of things because roleplay. Because that's just who I am. <laughs> you know, I, I, I fill shelves with things, I, even though it makes no sense. I put uh, items down, uh, or like build settlements in the way you would build, like, really would build a settlement, you know, try to make it cozy and stuff. Because you can power game quite hard in Fallout, if you want to. But yeah, that's not the kind of guy I am, I guess. I'm thirsty, apparently. Okay. So at least we save now, so we, we... Let's try to transfer all that stuff again. No, that's not what I wanted. That's it. Let's see. So I walked over here. Okay. So I guess that worked. Well, yeah, okay. So what don't we need? A camo bandana. No, I don't think so. Harness, long johns, postman hat. Some raider armor. The sack hood. Yeah, not much. Not much useful. Let's see. Can uh, try to craft some. I did I get any glue? I'm not quite sure if I did actually. I want to keep this one. Yeah, let's take that apart. Let's see. Reflex side. I don't think I can. Oh, I can put on a medium scope because that's what I wanted to test out. How the 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 scopes with um uh with with zoom, you know, the ones that make things bigger, how they worked. So I'm actually kind of excited how to this will work. Uh, where is my What? What the hell? Nice job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. Uh, hello? Chat, Why can't I see shit? Am I doing something wrong? Oh! <laughs> Drop the Molotov, genius! <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of fun. Okay. What am I doing wrong, though? Really not not sure what I'm doing wrong right now. Uh, whoa, wait, what? 
Let's try that again. Craft. Get rid of that. Get a medium scope. I guess you would have to put it into like a sighted mode, I suppose. The question is only how do you do that? And we're here to find that one out, I guess. Oh, come on. Any tutorials? No? Okay. Let me just save real quick, unless I want another accident to happen. There we go. I mean, there must be some kind of button we need to press. Maybe something on the thumb pad? You know, up, down? I mean, there's... That's that. Seriously, um, what am I doing wrong? Hmm. I mean, yeah, this does... This is throwing Molotovs, that doesn't help. This is that. How the hell do I aim? I never had a game where I needed to, to figure out how to actually aim. What in the actual fuck? I guess I have now quite good hit chance, you know, like that, but... I don't want to do bats all the time. I want to actually shoot people. Why? Kick. The fuck, man? <laughs> Alright. You know... I just want to reload because I wasted a bit Molotov and uh, some ammo. But holy hell, I... How do you aim through the scope? I mean seriously man because I, I I always if I if I if I play a game the first time I'm always trying to do the like sn stealth sniper assassin kind of thing and I would like to do this too but for that I need to figure out how to aim down the scope I will <laughs> I will figure it out eventually I'm pretty sure but <laughs> holy crap that's retarded <laughs> All right, let me let me just sort some things out here. We don't need that. Where's my ammo? Flame refuel. Nope. Um, technically, we don't need the fusion core with us. I mean, it has actually a lot of weight. Ooh, I have a fragmentation grenade. I didn't even see that. That's quite, quite nice, actually. I like fragmentation grenades. Unless I drop it on my own head. Then it's not so fun. Yeah, fuck the wedding ring. I don't care. Sure. Nice. Uh, Alright, so the last thing I want to do right now is just to cook some things. Actually, I want to drink something. Come on, hydrate me, because that should work. Shouldn't it? You can clearly hear him drink. What the hell? Okay. There's so many things about this game still that confuse me. And there's a little to no tutorial to it, which... It's kind of bad. Gotta be honest. But yeah, we'll figure it out. Eventually. More matchups. Yep, that's all. Good. 
Oh boy. All right. I guess it's time to save. Time to uh, go to sleep. Tomorrow will be another day. And I think tomorrow we will venture out to Ten Pine Bluffs and see what they want from us. Actually, they will want us to clear out uh, that, that the assembly plant, whatever it's called. Cover... Cover... Uh, coverage? You know which one I mean. The one with the... The tons of raiders around. And for that, I would love to have a sniper rifle. You know? But, yeah. If I cannot aim through the scope, there will be no sniping. So, that's something we need to figure out. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care. Yeah.